HD4600, an integrated graphics dedicated to 4th gen Intel CPUs. Now, Intel side GPUs are usually not meant to be used for gaming, but I had an interesting conversation with one of my customers and it made me so curious that I decided to make a video about it. Long story short, someone bought an office PC from me, it was a 4th gen i7 PC without a graphics card. The buyer came with his kid and that kid just kept asking me if he could play games on it. Obviously I told them that it was not a gaming PC, they were aware of that from the beginning and they were not looking for a gaming PC, but this conversation made me curious enough to explore this iGPU and see if it could actually game, because some games are just really easy to run as long as you have a semi-decent CPU. For the testing I chose an i5-4570 because that's the only 4th gen CPU that I have at hand. The rest of the components don't really matter too much because we'll be running everything on stock settings, but if you have a good enough motherboard, you can even overclock your iGPU and get a slightly better performance. Let's begin with Minecraft. Now I knew you could play this game on a potato, but I never would have guessed that I'd be seeing 100 FPS on an integrated graphics at 1080p low settings. Like we're still CPU limited in this game, I wish I had an i7 at this point because I would have been able to showcase the full power of this iGPU a bit better. This i5 clearly cannot push the iGPU to its limits. Anyhow, the game is running extremely well. Obviously we have occasional stutters, but they're really hard to notice. Besides, I think it's because of the CPU. Like, how far off can one be with their guess when you're playing a game on a 4th gen i5 without a GPU and your CPU limited? Which is by the way the culprit of the starters instead of this decade old integrated graphics that some people don't even wanna use for office work. I'm honestly speechless, the game's running amazing. Valorant is another really popular game that is extremely easy to run. I used to watch a lot of benchmarks where people would test some potato GPUs in this game and see if they could achieve 60 FPS. Now if I recall correctly, GPUs like GT710, GT630 and many other GPUs of similar power could barely achieve 100 FPS. As I was playing the game, I kept noticing that I was yet again CPU limited, our i5 was being fully used by the game and the iGPU was still not being pushed to its limits. But I guess this proves the point that some games are just really heavy on the CPU and you don't even need a dedicated GPU to enjoy these games, unless you wanna play on high settings of course and wanna just enjoy the game a bit more. Before we move on to a bit more demanding games, let's see how well this little iGPU does in League of Legends. Here I'm running medium preset because we are once again CPU limited. The only way to compensate this is to increase the graphics, but I just kept it on medium because the game already looks fine and the FPS is quite stable. No stutters, no FPS drops. At this point I was getting a bit frustrated because I just could not believe for the life of me that this iGPU was running these games so well. I also tested Terraria at 1080p medium to high settings and it ran like it was nobody's business. Some games are just built different. There are so many games that you can play with your friends and have a great time. All of these games that I've showed you guys so far, you can play every single one of these games with your friends or with randoms even if your hardware is a decade old and you still don't own a dedicated GPU. They Are Billions is another fun game that I enjoy testing on old hardware. If you also like this game and you don't have a graphics card, then worry no more because this iGPU can handle this game without a problem. I never got a single starter and it was a smooth experience from start to finish. We're also running this game at 1080p resolution by the way. And in case you have a smaller monitor and you're running these games on lower resolution, you will have even better experience than me. And finally, The Tomb Raider. I always like to keep this game towards the end because it's like the last boss for older hardware. Even though the game itself is from 2013, it is quite demanding. But man, was I surprised when I saw over 30 FPS at 1080p resolution. I just couldn't believe my eyes that a mere 4th gen integrated graphics could run this game above 30 FPS, and quite smoothly at that. But I wasn't quite content with 30 FPS, I wanted more. So I lowered the resolution to 720p and voila, we are getting over 70 FPS. Now I don't quite understand how we went from 30 to 70 FPS simply by lowering the resolution from 1080p to 720p, but I'm not complaining, the game is running extremely well. Overall, if I said that I'm impressed by this little iGPU, it would be a big understatement. It blew my expectations away, like it wasn't even close. But I'm honestly really happy that we have so many games that people can still play with such a lower-end hardware. 
Whenever I come across something cool like this, I immediately start thinking about how I'm gonna share it with you guys, because it gives me a lot of joy when I'm able to provide people with some entertaining content. As long as you guys enjoy watching them, I'll keep on making these videos. On that note, let's wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.